I'm Sarah Forgani with Kins 5 News Now. A woman is arrested two weeks after a man is killed outside a Northside nightclub. SAPD arrested Katie and Hella Boy Thursday night in the murder of 23-year-old Alex Rodriguez. Police say she lied to investigators to prevent them from finding her alleged partner in crime, Francisco Alejandro Balbuena Tabares. He's accused of pulling the trigger, and LeBoy is accused of bringing the gun and not stopping the shooting on September 21st. Rodriguez was shot several times outside the Manhattan nightclub. Police say they have surveillance footage of the night of the murder. LeBoy is now facing a murder charge and is being held in the Bear County Jail. A blue alert is out across Texas for this man law enforcement says is armed and dangerous. That blue alert is issued for people wanted in connection to either killing or seriously injuring a law enforcement officer. Officials say Seth Altman is wanted out of Memphis, Texas, just southeast of Amarillo. He's about six foot two, has red hair and weighs 200 pounds. If you see him, do not approach and call 911. A driver hits a man in a wheelchair and takes off. Right now, police are searching for that person. They say it happened at the intersection of Old Highway 90 and Arville Avenue on the west side when the man in the wheelchair was trying to cross the street. He's now in stable condition in the hospital. If you saw the accident, call police. Two students were allegedly assaulted by a substitute teacher. This allegedly happening at Shirt Civil Universal City ISD, where just a week ago, another substitute teacher was arrested in the same district. 42-year-old Yurin Hernandez was taken into custody on campus a week ago, accused of injuring two students at Barbara Jordan Intermediate. Civil police say the kids were not seriously hurt. We spoke to concerned parents about this. To see the person's face so I can go to my child and say, hey, look, is, do you recognize this person? Have you ever been around this person? Has this person ever, you know, hurt you? I just wanted to, you know, double check with my child just to make sure that he wasn't a victim either. Shirts police say their investigation is separate from Cibolo's and they have not made an arrest yet. They would not confirm if these new allegations involve the same substitute teacher. Eye-opening new details reveal San Antonio tops the nation's list in road rage shootings. Coming in at number two, San Antonio tied Memphis with 107 incidents over a decade period from 2014 to 2023. And of those, 94 people were shot in San Antonio. The new stats come in from the Trace, a nonprofit newsroom that says it used information from the gun violence archive. They reported 741 incidents across Texas over the 10-year period with Houston coming in at number one. A local family is using their grief to spread the message about sharing the road with motorcyclists. 23-year-old Colton Blevins was killed while riding his motorcycle home from work back in March. It happened off State Highway 46. The driver involved claimed they did not see Blevins but was ticketed for failing to yield. Blevins' family gathered on Thursday as Dot unveiled a sign in his honor. Look twice factor could have saved his life that one second. And according to TxDOT, there have been five crashes along State Highway 46 in Bilverde from last year involving bikers, two of them deadly, including coal tents. A small business owner could only watch as thieves hauled away more than $10,000 in equipment. This happened Wednesday morning on the back lot of Squeaky Dan's window cleaning. The owner says he had just bought the new power washer and trailer, and thieves hooked it to their truck and just drove away. In 12 years that we've had this business, we strive to just provide excellence. When something like that happens to you, at least to me, I just felt just totally violated. The owner is offering a $1,000 reward for the person who helps find the stolen equipment. Check out the details on Kens5.com. One day after we told you about a holdup at a Subway sandwich shop in Lytle, the robbery suspect has been identified thanks to you, our Kens5 viewers. The Lytle police chief shared the news on social media and gave Kens5 credit for our story that aired Wednesday. The man is accused of holding up the Subway nearly a week ago. His name has not been released. Country music star Garth Brooks has been accused of sex assault and battery by a woman who says she worked as his hairstylist and makeup artist. That woman claims the rape happened in 2019 during a work trip with Brooks in L.A. where he was taping a Grammy performance. Before being identified in Thursday's filing, Brooks filed a complaint against the woman using the name John Doe, where he tried to block that woman from going public with her allegations. Brooks said in a statement, quote, he is incapable of committing those acts. 
The Austin City Limits Festival kicks off today. That two weekend festival is going to feature more than 100 bands across nine stages. Headliners today include Chris Stapleton, Dua Lipa, Nora Jones and Tyler, the creator. And Chick-fil-A is offering some free food to help your wallet. The Ingram Park location is giving away a different breakfast entree every Friday for this month of October. Just mention the deal when you order from the drive-thru or the counter. And that is Ginspod News Now. I'm Sarah Fugani.